So in this video, I will show you how to solve a perfect competition profit maximization problem. In perfect competition, as you may know, it is a market characterized by many buyers and sellers. These sellers produce an identical product and there is freedom of entry and exit into the market. In this market, I'm assuming that the market price, the equilibrium price, is eight dollars and we have a firm with a total cost structure given by 40 plus 0.5 q plus 0.05 q squared this lowercase q just represents the output of the firm so in this problem let's go ahead and find the ideal amount of output that this firm would produce that is the firm's profit, profit maximizing output level first thing we need to do is just recognize that in perfect competition profit maximization requires that the firm produce the amount of output consistent where the price equals the marginal cost we have the price at eight dollars what we don't have is marginal cost we can find marginal cost from the total cost equation marginal cost is going to be the derivative of the total cost equation with respect to output. So we're going to take the derivative of this right here and we're going to get back 0.5 plus 0.1 Q. So just rewriting once more marginal cost is 0.5 plus 0.1 Q. And all we need to do is plug our information into this profit maximizing condition. Price equals marginal cost. Setting eight dollars equal to point five plus zero point one Q. Go ahead and solve this. You get zero point one Q equals seven point five. Q equals 75. For this firm to maximize profits, this firm would produce 75 units, and as a perfectly competitive firm, you have no choice but to charge the going market price of $8. Let's go ahead and calculate the firm's revenues and total costs then. The firm's total revenues for that matter, any firm's total revenue will always be given by price times quantity. In our example, the market price is eight dollars. The the quantity that the firm produces is seventy-five. So we get a total revenue for this firm of six hundred dollars. For total cost, we take the total cost equation and what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate that total cost equation at the number of units of output the firm's producing, 75. And in this case we get total cost equals $358.75. And the firm's profit is total revenue minus total cost. So 600 minus 358.75. The firm has profit in this example of $241.25. Okay, thank you.